a bunch of stuff since then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he's actually really good, I think. Yeah, I like him. I he's, can't remember... Uh, what was that Western he did um, on AMC? Hmm. Oh, uh, Hell on Wheels. There, yeah. He was really good on that. Really? Check that out. I think it's still on Netflix. It's a good show. I like when uh, rappers make transitions into... Uh, and they're actually good at it. Yeah. <laughs> the the one I will always remember is fucking Ice Cube. I remember Ice Cube and fucking uh, Boys in the Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Once I was like, what? I thought he was a rapper. How is he acting? <laughs> oh, shit. You can do both? Yeah. He's fucking multi-talented, dude. <laughs> Dope boy. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um, where was I? Chris Pine plays a neo-Nazi as one of the Tremor brothers in the film, but in reality, Pine is actually of Jewish descent. Wow. wow. That's cool. It's going to be, uh, be pretty fun to do that. <laughs> to act the opposite. Chris it's Pine crazy. actually replaced Michael Shannon as Darwin Tremor. Oh. Who's, who's Michael, Michael Shannon, Shannon again? Uh, Zod. Zod. Zod from Superman. Man of Steel. Oh, shit. He was supposed to be in? <laughs> yeah. I don't see it, dude, to be honest. Yeah. Now that it's yeah. Chris Pine, it's kind of like, that's his I really character. Liked, I really like Chris Pine's character in that yeah. shit. Michael Shannon's heavy actor, though, dude. He be, yeah, he, he, he be emotional. <laughs> yeah, he's, fucking, he's fucking nuts, dude. Probably in real life. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> Fucking, uh... He's Some more on, on Michael Shannon, uh, director. <laughs> the, the director of this film, uh, Joe Carnahan, actually fired Michael Shannon for being rude to a costume costume designer oh. on set. So Chris Pine actually kind of got this rich role. Yeah. Uh, you know, he was a newcomer. Yeah. And I guess when when they did his uh, how do you say like Scream. his his, uh, okay. his like audition yeah. within seconds of his you know first few his delivery his dialogue the the director was Joe was like yeah he's got it. we're nice. fucking bringing him in and that's, that's pretty uh, crazy yeah that's it for my swan facts yes. unless you got any uh, atlas facts no. atlas facts no no, no atlas facts today atlas facts. <laughs> what's the atlas facts no. just uh, all that stuff that I've seen on the special features and commentary with yeah that no, no swan facts for me cool that's cool I think that pretty much wraps up this episode jeez yeah. that was a fucking great movie dude. 95 that movie was dope. Smoking aces. Should be higher and wrong. Kick it rocks. Be. It should, dude. But I, you know, fucking Rotten Tomatoes, I don't really, I take their scores with a grain of salt, dude. Yeah. Whatever, yep. Whatever. That's all they really are, is a grain of salt. Yeah. My name is Vitaly. <laughs> How, How may I be of stuff? My name is Vitaly. How can I be of your assistance? <laughs> Crazy ass movie. What would you guys give this movie, dude? Out of ten? I'd say an eight. Eight? Yeah. Eight point five. Nine. Yeah, I was about to, I was about to go on like eight point like more towards nine. I'd say about it's a solid one, it's up eight. there by yeah, a solid eight. Sounds good to me. Cool, man. So yeah. What, uh, what any else? any closing thoughts? Um, if you are a fan of Indiana Jones, go uh, go to Netflix. There, all four of them are on. Uh, really, they're on Netflix right now, along with the also, the Mummy series. Does it with, have uh, the, Brendan Fraser? Does it have the best one, the Crystal Skulls? The best one. Oh. <laughs> also, uh, <laughs> sorry, CJ. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> also check out uh, Infinity War I think with Saul yeah, on Netflix, Netflix now yeah. too if you want to rewatch watch Thanos whip everyone's ass yeah. do it nice yes got any shout outs shout outs shout out uh, to you your, guys what about your your other Instagram page my uh, oh uh, Buster Jeans Disney Journey oh you just reminded me uh, just a quick uh I guess it should have been part of my news. I fucking forgot. Uh, <laughs> Disney raised their prices by 25%. Yes, it's crazy, so dude. So everything went up uh, without notice because they don't give a fuck. They, just they don't say, warn anybody. They don't tell them. They should say, hey, deal with it. Yep. So, Star Wars Land is opening this summer, so uh, yeah, expect dude. those prices. 
to go up with your uh, funds. Yeah, so, so if you were expecting to go to Disneyland, be uh, expecting to pay more, yeah. which is kind of sad. But whatever. For all Disney lovers. Yeah. yeah. Shit. Thank God. I get, <laughs> good thing I, get, I don't go. Good thing I, I get free passes. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't spend money, but yeah, yeah I have every every weekend. I know. Dude. <laughs> um, I do have a, a Disney Instagram page that my girlfriend runs. I mean, I go on there sometimes, but she's all about it. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, Buster Jeans underscore Disney Journey, and it has just a bunch of Disney shit on there. Pictures of us going to Disneyland, videos of they us going to Disneyland, Disneyland yeah. and whatever Disneyland info we come across. So you can check that out. Buster Jeans, Disney Journey. Disney Journey. There you go. So check out check out my uh, my fiance's YouTube. There uh, you go. Alyssa there you Diana go. G on uh, YouTube. Just search that. Um, Diana with two N's. A video um, video vlog. Vlogs. Vlogs. Um, she just did a pretty cool makeup thing that I watched. It was fun. Tutorial. Yeah, she's gonna do my makeup <laughs> someday. <laughs> nice. Um, so look forward to that. Maybe for the um, good president's episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, <laughs> yeah um, that would be fun. Uh, <laughs> what else? Um, uh, check out my buddy's uh, podcast, uh, Beers and Bullshit. Beers and Bullshit. It's on, I think, fourth or fifth episode now. So check that out. His name's Steven. Give him a shout out. Tell him that you. Is that uh, weekly or just whenever they want to do it? I think it's whenever they do it. Okay, okay. Um, it, More of a hobby. It, it, if you do go there from here, Tell them that we sent you. Hmm. So, tell them large Marge sent you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's it, man. Um, or check out our uh, our our pin Instagram. A pin apart. A pin apart. Yeah. Apart over here. And yeah. uh, we are officially a part of uh, the San Diego Pin and Patch Con. Yeah. For this which new is year. Uh, June eighth. Wow. Twenty nineteen. That's, that's yeah. not that far from that. We'll have a table. Come check us out. Come year. check out a fucking bunch of uh, yeah. other cool artists. Yeah. Let me just say, speaking from experience, I went last year. Wow, already last year. Um, and <laughs> it was pretty cool. It was really fun. I only stayed for like, what, an hour or so? And there was just a bunch of uh, uh, original artists that made enamel pins along with stickers. Patches. Patches. Very talented. Shirts. Handcrafts. Shirts. Yeah. Zines. Posters. Pop culture craziness. Everything that you can pops possibly think of. Um, There's a that? pin for it if you like it. Yeah. <laughs> and this is pre Comic Con, right? So it's right before Comic Con. Yeah, Comic Con's yeah. July. Mm-hmm. Mid July. So it's right before Comic Con, so that'd be pretty spend some money on, my, on us. Yeah. I hope you guys can come like last year yeah, and that was really uh, cool. hang out and uh, maybe we'll do a little mini mix for that yeah, one. I'll be there with my camera. Oh yeah. perfect time. Yeah. It'll be great. <laughs> That's cool. That would be sick. And that's uh, sometime in June, you said? June 8th. June 8th. I think it's a Saturday, so that should be cool. Uh, cool. Come out and support San Diego yeah. and uh, independent artists. And drop the mic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, hopefully we'll we'll do some kind of um, mix for that. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be cool. Put them on cassettes this time. We can get cassettes. I'm yeah. ready. I'm yeah. ready. we get some cassettes. <laughs> Uh, what else? We have uh, Instagram. Plug your Instagram, yeah. Your IG. Is it IG, IG? At drop. drop the mic underscore podcast. That's right. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Post the shit the every week. Um, we got weekly recommendations. Weekly we do uh, solid uh, video edits mm-hmm. that are really cool with these guys, these oh, yeah. gentlemen's uh, music. Mm-hmm. Random, thank you guys. Shout out to you guys. Posts. Yeah, thank yeah. you. It's, yeah. You're welcome, man. Awesome edits, man. Check out uh, Anaris on SoundCloud and oh, yeah. Admiral Atlas also on SoundCloud. Yeah. They're both on there. They have tons of tracks and things to make your Also, check pop. out Just Town Boys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, uh, I really like your video edits and the way you put them all together for each movie. So I always look forward to seeing which. Uh, which songs or which scene you're going to use from each movie so that's cool and we appreciate you taking that time and and the extra time too that's like yeah that's that's a lot of time consumed consumption right there yeah (laughs) because because um, obviously it's not like I sync them up Mm -hmm. so that take yeah it's it actually takes fucking forever and it's only a minute long you know but (laughs) a lot of them are really fun 
and so that's why I uh, put so much energy into it. The I feel, and I think people really dig that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. And it's really cool to see people's reactions. I guess they like to see the Good. name on there, like the edit, mm-hmm. instead of just taking like a generic clip, like sometimes I do. Sometimes I'll take like a generic <laughs> clip and just go ahead and upload it. But I think it's cool that you guys will re-upload it or sometimes uh, repost it from what I put. Because I mean, I don't expect you guys to do that, but when you guys do it, it always surprises me. So that's oh, yeah. cool. No, uh, yeah, I always do that um, because I want I, I I appreciate you taking the time to yeah, right. look up whatever movie we're talking about or and just investing time back and giving me that back. So it's really man. that's fun, man. Cool, because it's coming from all directions, you know, the love, and I feel like people are starting to pick up on that even more. Uh, we're on Spotify, iTunes, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, YouTube. So. It's- I think so, we're on this. Uh, I saw like a, a Spanish uh, third party. Oh shit! Hell yeah! Yeah, See? like wow. all, yeah, like all our shit, all our info. I saw the episode pop up, right? Hit us up. But it was like sponsor in, us in Spanish. It was awesome. Tele- Telemundo podcast. Tele- Hell yeah! Like, Tel Aviv. Oh, this is so cool. Gracias. Because I randomly uh, I typed um, westerns in Raimi into Google. Oh shit. And we, our episode pops up in the Google search. Oh, really? really? And it Dope. showed me all of these third-party things that I didn't even know that we were on just by typing in that title that I came up with. That's yeah. cool. So we are like, real, real, real podcast. Man. We're out there, man. <laughs> we're being relayed. <laughs> we're out there, dude. So, yeah. Thank I, you all, everybody that listens. I bet you there's somebody or some people out there in a third-world country or somewhere listening and like, oh, shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I sure hope so. So this one's for you guys. Shout out to you guys. Thanks yeah. uh, for taking the time to listen to us as always. Taking we, up your time. We love Appreciate you. It. We love you all. Yes. We have fun doing this. We do this, you know, for people to listen. So keep on spreading the love. Oh yeah. Keep on keeping on. And uh, speaking of that, next week we're yes. gonna do Unbreakable. Oh, oh yeah, with Mr. Chris Pollock returning. Love that oh, movie. Shit. Is, he, is he coming here, or were you? Guys... Uh, we'll have to talk to him about okay. that. Okay, we'll see. You, Movie's uh, dope. What we, what we get ready for Glass. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it's yeah in honor of Glass coming out soon. Nice. So hopefully uh, people will be into that. Shamalamalan. I know. Uh, I know he M Night <laughs> actually recently said that he uh, doesn't plan on making any kind of sequels. So this is the final. The final. Thing. The rap, yeah. Hmm. So it should be uh, pretty, pretty <laughs> epic. Hopefully, the I thought you were going to say M Night's pretty excited to hear our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit, this is real. That's the, <laughs> twist. Well, that's the twist. <laughs> well, that's a wrap. We don't have to make any more. Yeah, episodes, yeah we're now. good. He, uh, he's heard us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I imagine making profit on <laughs> no, their movies. <laughs> Uh, I yeah, hope be one cool. day. I hope one day some fucking actor, I don't care who, fucking tweets you. I I just hope one day it it'll come up and you know somebody somebody huge will be like, hey, dreams, goals, mm-hmm. definitely. Maybe so we could be quoted. Maybe Ryan that. Gosling will give us you. a shout out, dude. Yeah, dude, the day that that happens, I'll fucking have a heart attack. All right. That'd be uh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> when so we Nick, have it, when we have him on the show, that be yeah, that would be tight. my buddy Ryan. Say something. <laughs> <laughs> if I can, uh, so next week, Unbreakable, hey, huh? It's been a while since I seen that movie. Unbreakable. Damn, that's a good one. Pretty, uh, yeah. That's a pretty underrated film too. It's yeah. fucking awesome. It's one of his better films, I think. Probably maybe his best. Maybe. Do you like signs? Signs falls apart for me towards the end. Like when they show them, it's it's good up until swing away. <laughs> I heard I heard um, this really weird theory about signs that uh, she was a uh, the daughter was actually like a like a savior because when the day I guess he said the day she was born it was like this really crazy miracle and the reason why she has the water there is because it's holy water and the aliens are, aren't are actually aliens because there's no civilization that would travel billions of light years away and be dominated by water that they're actually uh, 
hell demons trying to take over your soul. So that that's why the fucking water that they throw on them burns them. It's because it's holy water from her because she's like some divine instrument. I don't know, man.